Hello everyone, myself Nandini, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Applications, KSA College of Arts and Science for Women, Thiruchangur. Today we are going to learn about the subject Computer Network, Unit 2 Topics. Introduction to Wireless Transmission Wireless transmission is a form of unguided media. Wireless communication involves no physical link established between two or more devices communicating wirelessly. Wireless signals are spread over in the air and are received and interpreted by appropriate antennas. Communication Satellites A communication satellite is an artificial satellite that acts as a large repeater in the sky. It receives signals from the source transmitter, amplifies using transponders and relays them to the receiver. Communication satellites may be owned by government or private organizations. Presently, there are more than 2,000 communication satellites in the sky. Some of its uses are internet, military operations, television, telephone and radio. Telephone system. A telephone network is a telecommunication network that connects telephones which allows telephone calls between two or more parties as well as New Year futures such as fax and internet. Structure of the telephone system. The telephone system model is organized as a highly redundant multi-level hierarchy. It comprises of the following components. Telephone of the subscriber or user, end office, local central office directly connected to end user at the distance of 1 to 10 km. Local loop, a two-way connection between the telephone and the end office. Toll office, switching centers which are called tandem office. Uh, when located within the same local area. Toll connecting trunk. Lines that connect end office with the toll office. Intermediate switching office. Interconnected non-hierarchical switching office for connecting toll offices. Inter-toll trunk. Very high bandwidth channels that connect either to uh, toll office via intermediate switching offices. Data link layer. Data link layer is second layer of OSI layered model. This layer is one of the most complicated layers and has complex functionalities and liabilities. Data link layer hides the details of under, uh, underlying uh, hard work and represents itself to upper layer as the medium to communicate. Data link layer has two sub layers. Logical link control, media access control, logical link control, it deals with protocols, flow control and error control. Media access control. It deals with actual control of media. Error detection and correction. Error detection. Errors in the received frames are detected by means of party check and cyclic redundancy check CRC. In both cases, few extra bits are that are sent along with actual data to confirm that bits received at other end are same as they were sent. In the counter check at receiver end files, uh, the bits are considered the corrupted. Error correction. In the digital world, error correction can be done in two ways. Backward error correction, forward error correction. Backward error correction. When the receiver detects an error in the data received, it requests back the sender to uh, retransmit the data unit. Forward error correction. When the receiver detects some error in the data received, it executes error correction code which helps it to auto-recover and to correct some kind of errors. That's all. Thank you.